and Kung Fu Panda, but became the Dragon Warrior. In the next two parts of the franchise, he achieved inner peace and mastered it. Now, his mission is to find his successor and become the Grand Master like Ugwe. He isn't ready for this yet, and honestly, we don't think he's capable of it. Meanwhile, a new villain enters the scene, the most powerful one Pa has ever faced. Panau faces two problems, his inner battle and whether he's up for the challenge and fighting the villain. This time, there's a lot more to the plot than in previous installments. There's emotion, heartbreak, action, suspense, twists, and more, making it feel like a roller coaster ride. The further into the runtime this one dwells, the more interesting it becomes. To find out what happens next, you'll have to watch it at your nearest theater. In the first half, the screenplay may seem straightforward, but it's still engaging and full of events. You won't feel bored at any point, but it's the latter part that's truly impressive. The climax will grip you tightly. In just one and a half hours, you can experience significant character development as well as some well-written emotional moments in the latter half. The previous three installments made you feel connected to the bond between Pa and Master Shurfu. In this current part, almost the entire first act revolves around them, and their chemistry will bring you joy. They're funny and also share a mutual respect for each other. In Kung Fu Panda 4, a new character named Jin is introduced. As the story progresses, you'll begin to feel the similarities between Pa and Jin. The newly introduced characters, like Jin and Chameleon, are well developed throughout. Chameleon is a blend of cunningness and power, while Jin is sharp and sleek. The verbal duel between Jin and Chameleon in the final act will leave you applauding the writers. Hans Zimmer, the Grammy and Oscar-winning music director, has been a consistent presence in all the installments, and while this might not be his best work to date, his talent shines through in certain scenes. Particularly in the climax and the pursuit scene in Juniper City, you can notice the spark of his talent. The way the background music pauses and resumes enhances the screenplay. The action sequences are sleek and well-designed. The dragon against the backdrop of the moon is a stunning shot from a cinematographic perspective. The chasing scene in Juniper is one of the most thrilling parts and in addition, all the high moments have received excellent support from the technical department, making those scenes even more exciting. Amidst the roller coaster ride of action and comedy, there are moments of commentary on various themes. For instance, the film explores the contrast between village and city lifestyles, as well as the inner struggle of whether to adhere to tradition or embrace change. It's like eating your favorite food every day. Even though you love it, you'll eventually get tired of it. One particular character in the film seems to be a reference to characters from the epic Mahabharata, such as Karna and Eklavya, who were denied certain opportunities because they lacked royal lineage. Overall, Kung Fu Panda 4 stays true to the spirit of the franchise, delivering comedy, action, drama, and more, just like its predecessors. While it may not be the pinnacle of the franchise, it is entertaining and worth the investment.